Greetings everyone, my name is Dr. Jason Freeman. I'd like to welcome you all to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna review the third season of the show, Top Boy, starring Ashley Walters and Kane Robinson. I'm gonna tell you all what I liked about the season. I'm gonna tell you what I didn't like about the season. Then I'm gonna tell you why I think you should see the season or just skip it. So let's get into it. What did I like about season three of Top Boy? Well, first of all, I love the pacing. One of my big critiques of season one of Top Boy was it was exciting at the beginning, it was exciting at the end, and then the middle was pretty much just meh. But in the subsequent seasons, that particular problem was fixed. So every episode had some kind of underlying conflict, something that was being created based on some decision that was being made, whether for uh, based on good intentions or bad. Those consequences bled over into the next episode and kind of built up into the climax of the season. So this season does that but like times a thousand. I can honestly say I was transfixed from the beginning to the end of the season and I was never bored. Another thing I liked about season three of Top Boy was the fearlessness of the writing. Without giving any spoilers away, um, I can say that when it came to the writers going places that you wouldn't expect them to go, they very much did that. So in situations where people, you didn't think people were gonna die, people died. People made decisions that went against maybe things we expected, but it did make it made sense in that situation. Um, even the ending of the show had the writing was fearless. They went again places you didn't necessarily think they would go, and so that's one of the things you know. One of the big complaints of other franchises, other shows, is that it's predictable and it's kind of formulaic. This is not. They 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 went places. And it was very satisfying when they did things that you didn't necessarily expect. And with that writing, another thing I liked about the writing was they went deep into the story. Well, the show focused a lot on Jack. Uh, so Jack's story. Now, and previously I had critiqued, I wasn't a big fan of Jack. I saw Jack as almost like a Snoop wannabe. So Snoop from The Wire. She's not. Um, the story that she, that was told with her in this in this season was amazing. It you know it made you care for you care for the people around her. She, it, it was it, they focused on a character that I thought was ancillary unnecessarily. It made them necessary, and I was a big fan of how they used Jack within this season. And the last thing that I liked that I want to talk about is the depth of the emotion that was felt within the show. So. As I mentioned, they had a lot of what, what I saw as ancillary characters, um, Jack being one, and they kind of showcased them. And so the thing with those is they had a lot of deep emotion with those characters. Um, not Again, not to spoil anything, but there were characters who were who had losses in the previous seasons, and those losses were brought up, and they were a big part of the, the plot of the show this season. Uh, they played a big role. And so, you know, a lot of shows, you know, it's maybe very surface, very violent, very action-based this had a lot of heart. And I guess that's the, the, the term I would use. I love the heart of the show. So what did I like about the show? Well, there's one main thing I didn't like about the show is because it's so detailed, every so often that something would happen and I have no idea what was going on. They also um, kept a lot of stuff co close to the vest so they weren't spoiling things constantly or, or giving away stuff constantly in the, in the, in the show. And so when that would happen, I would sometimes be kind of caught, especially if I, I was distracted by something, I'd be caught off guard. I'm like, I have no idea what's happening, what's going on. Now, when I watch it again, which I will, I'm sure I will because I already know it's going to happen, we'll catch those things and, and it won't be as confused. But that's something that happened on the first viewing is that every so often, because they were so close to the vest in regards to the plot and what was going on, like they didn't want to reveal too much. Every so often I would be just like completely confused as to what was happening. And then I would eventually catch up a little bit later. I guess there's one other small thing I didn't like. Um, the, the characters in this show aren't very communicative with each other sometimes like they they'll know something or you know they'll they'll feel something but they won't reveal it because just the nature of the culture nature of the line of work these people are in and so sometimes a simple word a simple statement would have saved a lot of problems so it built it helped build the plot but it's just something it happens so much sometimes it was just like just say it like just reveal it just blurt it out but you know, it's just, it, 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 it's, it fits the world in which they're operating in that sometimes things that should be said go unsaid and it can lead to horrible consequences. All right. So should you see season three of Top Boy, just skip it. Very much see it. Very rarely does a show, especially in the modern time, give you 
basically everything you want. And I would say season three of Top Boy, and I'll I'll go ahead and say season two as well because season three built on season two. Uh, two. Um, and I'm talking about Top Boy, not Summer House, but Top Boy uh, 3 and 2 on Netflix. They together gave me everything I wanted in this show. Uh, a lot of things that, you know, they set up, it paid off. Um, the way the show ended was a big payoff. It really fit. Um, and some people may critique how it ended and not like how it ended. I say it ended perfectly because it's one of those things... The situation that they built up was going in one direction, and that's what happened. And so, you know, again, again, not spoiling anything because, you know, things were built up that kind of led to what happened. But the thing is, it had what I consider the perfect ending. So definitely see this show. Go back and watch. I would say even go back to season one of Summer House because you can kind of see where, you know, DeShane and Sully start and where they finish. Um, you can judge that they finish any better than they were when they started. But the point is, go back to the, to season one of Summer House and watch all the way through. And once you get to season three, you will feel satisfied. At least I did watching the show. And so in the future, if you know there's a show from the creators of Top Boy on Netflix, I am all in on that show. So if you found this review interesting and or informative, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, please share this video. And if there are other Black British shows you want me to review, please leave those suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you all for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day.